Hi everyone. So having watched my previous video, you would have seen me say that a minimum price causes a deadweight loss to society. In this video, I want us to understand why there is a deadweight loss caused, and to do so, we need to isolate surplus effects, consumer and producer surplus, in the normal way. What we'll do is we'll compare total welfare in the free market, and we'll look at total welfare after a minimum price, and we'll see that total welfare actually declines when a minimum price is imposed. Uh, here is a market. There is a market uh, where demand equals supply initially, and then the impact of a minimum price is also shown on here. Again, I've not done the whole analysis. There's no need. I've only done what I need to show the effect on surplus outcomes. So let's say the minimum price is set at P-min, and that takes us to a quantity sold at Q2, and that's an important quantity for us to consider and work out. Right, so in the free market, what was the initial level of consumer surplus? Well, the area above the price, below the demand curve, was A plus B plus D. So that was the initial amount of consumer surplus. The producer surplus was the area below the price, but above the supply curve, which was C plus E, which meant total welfare was equal to A plus B plus C plus D plus E. So this total triangle here. That entire space inside represented welfare, maximizing welfare to society with efficient resource allocation at P1 and Q1. Now, with the minimum price, let's go back and see the effects on welfare. So remember, the price now charge is at P min, and at that minimum price, Q2 is how much that's sold. So at price P min, the consumer surplus has now fallen to just A, the area above the new price and below the demand curve. The producer surplus is now the area above the supply curve, but below the price. Now remember, only Q2 is sold, so we have to work within the confines of the quantity that's being sold. So that only allows for areas B and C to be collected in terms of consumer surplus. Right, that means add up our total welfare and we get A plus B plus C. Compare that to the welfare we had before and we'll realize straight away that areas D and E are both being lost. So the triangle I shaded in before which comprises of both D and E, but basically one big triangle there, is the area of deadweight loss when a, minimum when a minimum price is imposed on a market. So that triangle is always a deadweight loss, and if you share that triangle in and label it deadweight loss and explain why, you will score very highly in an essay where you have to analyze a minimum price. So bear that all in mind. That triangle is the deadweight loss, which represents a loss of welfare to society, which otherwise actually created some benefit. So these are trades that have been foregone, that were beneficial to society, which are now not recovered in any way. They are gone forever. Deadweight loss. I hope that video explains everything very clearly for you. Uh, thanks very much for watching. See you next time.